Hey guys, I'm coming at you today with a really quick video. Um, I'm surprised at how many people are asking me where I get my music from. Um, so today I'm just going to make a video and tell you exactly where I get my music from. Let's do this. Okay, so there are actually a couple of different places I get my music from, depending on what I need the music for. So for example, if I'm making a YouTube video, I will get my music from a different place than if I'm playing at a party or DJing at a house party or just DJing for myself. I'm gonna start with where I would get my music from if I was just DJing for myself or at a party, a house party, something like that. There are four main places I would get my music from. So the first obvious place is just iTunes. If you have a song in mind, it's a pop song, and you want it quickly, you want a high quality download, just go to iTunes and download it. That is the first one, that's the obvious one. The second one is a place called Beatport. Uh, there's quite a few songs that aren't actually on iTunes, really dancey tracks that are on Beatport. So if you're into SoundCloud and stuff like that and you're listening to artists that aren't really that famous yet, sometimes you can find their songs easier on Beatport. The other benefit of Beatport is it gives you additional information like the beats per minute of the song, what key the song is in. The next two ways to download music is highly illegal and I suggest you don't do it. Okay, but these are the two other ways you can get music. If you're just DJing in your bedroom and you want a way to get really kind of quick, you just want to get the music that you like, there's a song you really like, you don't want to have to pay a pound or a dollar for it, you just want it quickly, this is how you would do it, okay? So, so what you would do is just go to Google and you can type in YouTube to MP3. MP3, like that. Click on one of these MP3 converters here. You go to YouTube to a song you like, like this Skrillex one here. Copy, go back to the converter, put it in place like that. Click Start. I think you can choose what format you want it, but MP3 is usually the best. Click Start. It will do its thing. And then when it's finished, you can just download the song there. Now, the warning I have to give you about this is if you're getting songs off YouTube, what you're doing is you're getting the music from the music videos. So sometimes in music videos, people will stop and talk halfway through the song because it's to do with the music video. Or there might be a car scene where they've added car sound effects into the song. If you rip music straight from YouTube, you will get those sound effects in the song. So if you're getting it to play at a wedding or a house party and there's a big car scene in it, you're gonna have car noises the whole way through the song. The other thing is the quality is not as high when you do it this way. Um, it's just not as high, it's just slightly worse quality, but it doesn't bother me. When you're playing at a house party or at a wedding or anything like that, no one's really gonna no notice a slight decrease in quality, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Now that way works really well if you just want to get one song and you want to get it quickly. I know when I first started doing weddings for example and I had to download a huge body of music quickly so I'd have it with me when I was at the wedding. In the UK we have these CDs called Now CDs, Now Now 3, Now 4, right up to Now 98 and it's like every single year they release a, a track with loads of hits on. And I wanted to just download all the Now CDs, so I had all the pop songs over the last like 30 years or whatever with me on my hard drive when I went along to do weddings. If you want to download a big body of music like that, uh, what you can do is you use these things called torrents. So let me just show you. This is highly illegal. Um, so what you do is you just type in Pirate Bay, Pirate Bay like this. Can't even spell it properly. Uh, click on that, it'll bring up a host of different um, links and you can just open up a couple of these and new tabs until you find one you like, one that works. And then I just go to here and I type now collection, that'll be it. Pirate search. Wait for it, wait for it. Here we go, and then you get like the now complete collection. Then you download that and you can put it into a program called Views, V-U-Z-E. That was the one I used, V-U-Z-E. 
views. So what you do is you download views, you download a BitTorrent off the Pirate Bay site, you drop the BitTorrent into views, and then it'll download it all for you. May sound a bit complicated, it's easy to look into, there'll be hundreds of other people on YouTube explaining that in more detail. But the time where I'd use BitTorrents and views is if I wanted to download a big body of music, which I don't really do anymore. So, those are the main ways I do it. iTunes, Beatport, they're legal, they're the normal ways to do it, you buy the music, they're high quality. Then if you want you can just click YouTube to MP3, it also works SoundCloud to MP3, works exactly the same way. So you can get a song you like on SoundCloud, copy the link and put it in there. Let me just show you quickly. SoundCloud to MP3. Uh, and then you can click one of these. And then you just go to SoundCloud, get a song you like, click on it, copy that link there, into this here, click download. And you know, even if that site doesn't work, one of these is going to work, okay? The other thing I wanted to mention as well is if you go to SoundCloud, what you'll quite often see is people will show you free down, you can get free music off SoundCloud, as you can see here. Free download, um, free download here. Um, some of them will say uh, buy off Beatport. Um, so let me just type this in DVBBS. Um, so buy on Beatport here. So you can just buy that music. It'll take you from the song you like on SoundCloud to Beatport. Um, okay, so that is how I would download music, pop music or popular music, popular dance music that I would want to use for myself playing at parties or whatever. Now, there is one other thing which I did want to mention in this video, which I do think is quite relevant. I have recently got into doing more YouTube, and YouTube are really strict on music. I mean, they hate it if you use other people's music. So, if you use other people's music in your videos, there's a chance that the video could be taken down and you could be penalised. I mean, they could, they could give you warnings and stuff and potentially bring down your whole YouTube channel. So you just don't really want to get into that. The other thing which I've noticed as well is what they'll do is if you use a song that you're not allowed to use, they'll put adverts on that video and all the money that video makes will go to the other artist, which is really cool. I think that's quite clever because it means sometimes, like I did a snowboarding video, which I'll link to up here, where I wanted to use a song that I didn't have the rights to, but I just loved the song. And I was putting it up on YouTube really more for friends and family to see. And I didn't really want to make any money off this video, so I was more than happy for all the money that video made to go to the artist. Um, it doesn't always work like that though. Sometimes you can actually get in trouble, so it's not recommended at all. Now, I'm not sponsored by this company at all, but I'm a big fan of Peter McKinnon, who's another YouTuber who is sponsored by this company, and this is how I know about it. It's called Epidemic, Epide Epidemic Sound, I can't speak. And this is quite cool, okay? So, a lot of the music you'll begin to see in more of my videos now is off this website. It's, we well, sign up for a membership, and it means all the music on this site that you use, you will not be penalised. You are legally allowed to use it on YouTube. So a lot of these music, like the intro music I use, music when I was teaching my mum how to DJ, most of the music I use moving forward now will be off this site, and it's quite clever. Let me just show you it quite quickly, okay? So you come to this site here, log in, uh, okay, log in. Um, okay, so what you'll do is you can just browse like this, um, pick different kind of music you like, electronica, and just go through and choose what music you like. And honestly, it's and honestly, it's quite good music. Some of it's really good. But it's amazing because you can search through different types of music as well. So you could say, actually, I really want pop music. What I... But, you know, I tend to just typically go to dance music, electronic music, which I like. So beats, I usually get beats and stuff like that. This is going to wear us out for me. This kind of... I don't know, it's just cool music. 
So guys, I hope this video has kind of helped you out and now you know exactly where I get all my music from. To be honest with you, I don't use views and BitTorrents anymore because I never need to download loads of music. I do occasionally do YouTube to MP3 if I just want to quickly rip a track just to, I don't know, throw it into a DJ set or mess around with it on DJ decks. I do buy a lot of my music. I do use uh, Beatport now and again if I can't find it on iTunes, but I'll always go to iTunes first. And actually these days, most of my music for these videos you guys are seeing is coming off Epidemic Sound. So that's it guys. I hope the video's helped. Um, I hope you're not all going to hate the fact that I've just said that you can download it for free by ripping it, but guys, you probably already know you can do that. Um, I'm just telling you, over the years, these are the different ways I've accumulated all my music. I uh, hope the video's helped. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and uh, if any of you guys are getting into DJing and you want to know more about DJing, visit beginnerdjlessons.com where I have a course that will teach you everything you need to know from not knowing anything about DJ, DJing straight up to knowing everything you're going to need to know about DJing. So go and check that out as well. Hope the, hope the video helped and I'll see you guys soon. Ciao!